Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. Welcome in, welcome in. We're reading for the first week of December. And as I have mentioned in my other readings, prepare yourselves for Venus in retrograde, where your relationships will be tested. Whether they're your co-workers, your friends, your family, etc., you get it. All right, so this reading is for the first week of December. Those of you that are new, thank you for tuning into my channel. I don't date the videos because time and energy is fluid. So it is more or less if you resonate with the title. I try to keep it as close as possible to the title as I can. Um, I'm also the type of reader that does not sugarcoat things. I see things as I see them and I tell you the truth. Only more or less so you guys can mitigate fallout and, you know, four more just four arms. All right, guys, with that said, let's see what's going on here for you. All right. Overall theme of your reading is the Page of Cups. Receiving some kind of message on an emotional nature. The Hermit. <clears throat> you might be dealing with a Virgo or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In the recent past, you were dealing with a fire sign that made you very happy. King of Cups, wow, yeah. You. It looked like you were dealing with a lot of toxicity in your past Libra. <clears throat> Whether it's with this person or your past person. And it feels like you're trying to move on. Um, and you started working on your craft, yourself, your whole life. And it's possible that you might have met somebody even at work. Because I see wish fulfillment down here between the two parties. With a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius more or less i feel you having felt very passionate about a situation and a lot of communication and activity going between you and someone else and then there was this moment in time where somebody backed off or took a step back got cold feet went into hermit mode did a timeout, and then there came then this message comes in it's of small nature page it's not a knight or a king it's small it's like hey what's up how are you libra or it's like a like on one of your pictures or like a small little blurb in your social media. Um, in your situation, I have King of Swords in reverse. Lack of communication. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be you, but it could be the person that you're dealing with. Very cold. Has iced you out. Or you have iced someone out here. Because this could also be your energy. It's coming towards you. Is communication. So this is what you're dealing with, but this is what's coming towards you. It is the opportunity for a fresh new beginning in truth, honesty, and clarity. Two beginnings, an emotional one and one based on um, being on the same page. So Ace of Cups is here. This isn't like, what's up? This is like, I love you. Uh, and the Five of Swords. Let's put down our swords now. Let's stop fighting. Let's stop cutting each other. Um, you know, dealing with whatever the hell we're dealing. Let's both get out of our heads and, you know, have this conversation about our feelings and starting something new here. That's what's coming towards you, Libra. What you don't see coming is strength. This could be a Leo card, but needing the strength for a situation. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what that's all about. Now, as far as your advice is concerned, there is something here between you and somebody else that you could be a couple with where you can have the opportunity to be in a relationship here. It's very interesting. The Ace of Pentacles is here. Four of Pentacles. Somebody is clinging on and the Knight of Cups. And this is... Okay, so in your advice position, it's saying you also need to make the gesture here, Libra, of going out and communicating somebody something based off an emotional nature, meaning opening your heart chakra, because all too often air signs are very logical, reasonable, analytic. Um, don't allow any vulnerability to peek through. But here it's saying you might need to message somebody your feels, you know, and whatever it is that you're holding on, it's don't let it go because there's an opportunity of a new beginning here. It is saying give it or receive it. If it is coming towards you, this is a big fat thumbs up go towards this tangible new relationship that's coming towards you. Okay, so in your outcome, I see the five of pentacles. It was a little bit, uh, it's trying to tell me you're trying to come out of the cult. But somebody here is emotionally guarded over here. I say that because the queen of cups is here. There's love because you feel like you're soulmates with somebody and they feel the same way about you. But one of the two of you uh, is emotionally guarded here. 
and we're going to clarify in a second. All right, guys. Uh, I've started up memberships, and the extended will be in memberships, guys. It's fairly inexpensive, and you have access to all the weeklies and a bunch of other things, as well as every zodiac sign. In other words, there's a bunch of content there. <laughs> Go to my community page, guys, for the um, updates of what I put in the memberships. All right, so if you're interested in hearing the extended, pop on over there. Now, what is this Knight of Swords in reverse? Universe in your spirit guides. What is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Thank you. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody from your past also. Somebody you feel is a soulmate. Somebody that you also was very secretive, very to themselves. You know, buttoned up. And this could be you too. This is why you have the, the King of Swords in reverse. Because somebody from your past wasn't really sharing shit. They're, they're, they were just like emotionally blocking things. And this could have been somebody you had a relationship with. In any event, the situation that we're talking about is this new opportunity in a relationship. Could be a job too, guys. So, so far now I see three aces. What is this ace of cups and this ace of swords? A lot of you guys, this is your new person after, you know, your past. Dealing with whatever your past was. So maybe you had a false start with somebody here and now you're you're getting to that point where you're revisiting that situation and you're going towards these new beginnings with somebody here. So you might have had like a back and forth communication with somebody and now it's actually going somewhere to these new starts. What's the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords in reverse? It's coming towards Libra. It's about a relationship with somebody from your recent past that was keeping secrets is exactly what I said. You are going through a period of healing. Okay, Libra, because there's the four swords at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could have gotten out of a divorce. You know, you were married and now you're healing from that situation. If that's not you, that could be your person. Healing marriage. What's clarifying these new beginnings is this new start from some of you it's a new start from after being married and now you met somebody new. Others of you, this is somebody that you might have had like um, like you recently met somebody and maybe you didn't have an, a, a, an actual beginning. Maybe it was a false start. I don't know, but an actual beginning. But it's somebody from your recent past that wants a relationship with you, but was there was things that were hidden from you. Now it's like, let's put down our swords. Because we're both holding secrets from each other, meaning you too, Libra, and they were too. And, you know, yes, it means being vulnerable, and that's fucking scary. But that's what it's saying here. In order for us to have this emotional new fresh start, and one where it's based on truth and honesty and clarity, we got to put down our swords here, okay? And whatever these secrets are, we've got to talk about them in regards to this relationship. Because I feel like you're my soulmate. Boom. What strength? And maybe that's what strength is here for. Needing the strength to do this, to divulge this, to take a leap of faith towards this person, to trust them. What is this strength here for my Libras? Yeah, the cherry in reverse. It's like I felt like that's what I've been feeling and vibing this, this energy. Somebody here stopped. Like it was going ahead. It was charging ahead with the cherry because now the chariot's in reverse. Strength is here. Somebody's like, wait a minute, like big pause, like stop the bus. You know, I got to think about this. And if this isn't you, this is the person that you're dealing with because I need to make a judgment call here. And the marriage card is back here too. Because one of you wants marriage. One of you wants stability. And some of you guys, this could be somebody you are planning or thinking of marrying. Somebody has taken a pause. Somebody here is taking a beat to reflect. Um, others of you, the strength card is talking about with you, slow your roll here with this person. Slow down. Don't rush. Don't rush because you'll burn it out. What's this Ace of Coins and the Knight of Cups? Because uh, if we rush relationships, we might come to a decision too fast. And we might quickly assess somebody and it could be wrong, a wrong assessment. So that's why it's saying sometimes slow your roll. Take the strength to slow down this relationship. 
with the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, some of you guys are in your head and you need to get out of your head. Um, basically, how this is going to work with this person is if you're honest with them. If you tell them what your demons are, what the things are that you fear, the things that scare you, what you're clinging on to here, because that's what's falling in your advice position here, Libra. Somebody here is emotionally wanting to start something new with you. It's saying, go for it, but as you do, get on. And this is your language anyway. This is this is Libra talk, the, the, the swords. This is like, let's chat. Let's see if we're on the same page. Let's see if you want what I want. You know, and if not, I'm going to use the sword to cut you out. Peace. And I ain't going to flinch when I do so. <laughs> it's kind of like Libra. But, you know, trust the Libra. Cross watchers, if you're watching, trust the Libra. Libra is going to make the fair decision for the both of you, for both your parties involved. Even if it's to their own detriment. That's how fair they are. Hmm. Balance. See this? Stability. The King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You know, it's interesting. I feel like this energy I'm getting off the, the Temperance card at the and the King of Pentacles uh, at the bottom of the deck because I was just like, look at the bottom of the deck and I didn't know why I was doing that because I was about to move on to your outcome. Temperance and King of Pentacles, I feel like Archangel Michael's bringing you instability. Uh, just have a little faith, have a little patience. They're trying to move um, certain pieces on the board for you and your person that's coming in towards you. Because this is talking about stability. This could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and this is Sagittarius. But it's saying divine timing is at play. Also, Archangel Michael is the spirit guide that protects relationships. They're fated. So like fate, they're bringing you someone in. Think of like your life path and your journey, your soul journey, or why you're on this earth. Think of it like a pinwheel, right? You're on this pinwheel and you're walking. That's your life journey on this pinwheel. And the whole reason for for the universe spirits guides is for you to get to the center, to the, you know, the target, where it's your ultimate happiness for what your purpose is and why you're here on earth, what your your um soul path is. And on our journey, we meet all these people and this whole entire dynamic. Sometimes we meet the wrong people and we make wrong judgment calls and we do detours. Think of it like a tree with branches now. So you're going down the tree, the main bark, but when you make a detour, you go off on a branch. Now you got to go back up the branch and down the main part, base of the tree. It's the same thing with the pinwheel. You're going around the pinwheel and there's branches that sprout out. Sometimes we go out on the branches, we realize it doesn't work for us, and we go back onto the pinwheel until we get to the center. Now think of this. Your fates, the spirit guides, Archangel Michael, the fates that ply things into your life they make the the little chips that fall onto your journey. And then it's your life choice. It's your free will and your decisions that you make. Okay, I know that was big speech, sorry. Um, but again, this is a spirituality channel as well. That's why it's called enlightenment. Uh, it's meant to help guide you. So for you, this is talking about this will never fail you. This will never fail you. The truth, the honesty, the clarity. All right, let's get to the outcome. The Five of Pentacles in Reverse and the Two of Cups. Just open up the heart chakra a little bit and balance out the two. Um, so it's saying getting out of the cold. You are going through a period of changes and you also are going through healing. Some of you are fixing your foundation. Some of you are getting get engaged, married, or whatever. Um, look at this. You guys are also very intuitive. Um, but this is also telling me somebody you weren't talking to anymore. So what's coming in your outcome is this Three of Swords, judgment, making a judgment call in regards to these challenges, these blocks, these obstacles that are in front of you. It's like, is it a deal breaker for you with whomever it is that you're dealing with? Because this person is helping you come in from out of the cold. Somebody does see you as a soulmate here and does love you very, very much, but somebody here is emotionally guarded. And why they're emotionally guarded is these three clarifying cards. Someone is trying to heal, take out the daggers and bandage up the heart. Also making an assessment here. I think that's you, Libra. Because you are reviewing these blocks, these challenges, these obstacles that this person wants a foundation with you. Whether that's to move in with you, propose to you, get married, you get engaged. And maybe it was going really fucking fast and you slowed the bus down. And they're like, what's happening here? 
No, it's because Libra is doing the fair and balanced and honest thing, as always. All right, let's see what your romance angels have to say here. Let's see. In your um, extended, I'm going to ask what your person thinks, what their intentions are towards you, and what their current situation is also. Um, and then we're going to clarify with Tarot these cards and the advice cards. So at the bottom of the deck is Soulmate is here. And I knew what I was reading for, with whom I'm resonating with, release your ex. Some of you guys, yeah, you 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 have an ex and it's the energy is trying to come towards with you and, and it's not healthy. Because maybe at the time when you were getting over your ex or your, your divorce or whatever you guys were going through, this new person came onto your path and you were going along with the person, maybe A, because you uh, didn't want to think about the past, or B, that's you, because you're led by Venus. And that's, you know, you, you have this thing where, I hate to fucking say it, sometimes you're codependent on relationships, Libra. And that's like a feature that sometimes happens with Libras. This isn't you, these are the partners you're finding that are codependent on you, because it brings you a sense of control. Um, I say this because release your exes here in codependency. And the video I did for you before and the battery just killed the whole video, codependence came out again. Very similar reading from before. But there's somebody new here that is your soulmate, but for whatever reason you're assessing it. And a lot of it has to do because maybe you're holding on to energy from the past that you need to release. There is some kind of codependency issue here. I'm going to clarify this uh, with Terrell. Let me get some advice here. What is release? I'm sorry, what are, what are the messages for uh, Libra, please? First week of December. A time for healing. It's so clear. It's, it's you're going on and moving on with somebody else here. Um, but meanwhile, you need to heal. A time for healing. At the bottom of the deck, the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. The answers you need are coming. That's what this Ace of Swords is. It's coming, guys. All right, so those of you that are members, I will see you at the extended. Otherwise, my loves, I will see you next week.